Hey guys, it's Ajax here from Team High Society, and I just want to do a really quick review here on the Lux flight controller. I've been testing it out on my Tweaker 180 here, where space, as you know, is at a premium. All right, so we're gonna just run through the actual hardware features real quick. Um, it's got a new high-speed SPI 8 kilohertz gyro, which is you know supposed to be all flashy and help you fly better like Sharpoo. Um, it's got a dedicated button for easily firmer flashing and the solder pads are kind of the, the the big hardware feature at least as far as I'm concerned. It's low profile, you know, it's very thin and it'll take anywhere between 2 and 6S. So basically if you're going to fly anything between with a 2 to 6S you can just plug it directly in. Um, the other thing is that it's got a voltage regulator on it that's selectable between 3 and 5 volts so you can actually power your, um, your receiver directly from the flight controller so you don't need a, a back in your ESC. Um, okay, as far as software, it comes with clean flight, it's race flight and beta flight ready. I'm running beta flight on it, pretty much everything, it's great. It says, if you look at the website, it says that it supports BL Heli pass-through flashing. And this is kind of a misnomer um, with like the Nays or one of your SP Racing um, or some of the other F3 boards. You can flash your, ES, your BL Heli ESCs directly through the flight controller with the, through the USB port kind of the issue is here and I won't go into great detail but you actually can do pass through but you have to solder on a uh, like an FTDI or a CP2102 um, adapter to pass through so really out of the box without adding something you can't do that supposedly that can get fixed in the software later we'll see uh, but that's kind of a misnomer all right, and then uh, so let's get the specs real quick on quick on this. It's got an F3 processor, which is kind of the new standard. Um, it's 36 by 36, so it fits in the stack with most common PDBs. It's the same size as a NAS or an SP Racing chip, um, and it's uh, it's about six grams. Okay, so let's get down to some some thoughts about it and things that I like and don't like. I really like the fact that we have actual solder pads that we can solder the ESCs and the receiver directly to. That's really handy and something that I really like. He header pins are fine for uh, quads that you have a little bit more space but on something like a 180 or a 210 you really it's just nice to be able to solder directly to it and with this being the front, you have your ESCs connect right here. Your signal and your ground, signal, ground, signal, ground, signal, ground. It's just great. And this little cutout really helps save space and route. You know, you can route the cables so that you can fit all your in all the tight spaces there. Um, so the layout's good. I like the processor. Uh, the, the gyro seems fine. I, at my flight level, I guess the uh, 8 kilohertz gyro isn't something super. The only other thing that you kind of need to know if you're going to use this flight controller is that you need to select or you need to use a solder bridge to select whether or not your receiver is a serial RX or PPM. And it's even here, it's kind of hard to see, but the bridges are super small and you just have to solder between the two to select that. Also, you need to select three or five volt um, a regulator on here. So if you're running like a DR4 or D4R2 from FR Sky, it's a five volt, so you would solder or you bridge that connection for five volt. I'm not aware of any that are three volt, but what can I say? I always use the D4R2. Um, so that's pretty much it for the actual hardware and the gotchas. 
Um, I'd show you some flight footage, but that really isn't necessary. This is a great flight controller at $36. I think it's it's not a good deal and what you're really the only thing the only benefit that you get really is solder pads and these little cutouts um, so I would recommend it if you just don't care and you've got the money and rock on however there are lots of cheaper F3 boards like FPV models X Racer I'm not plugging it but it's $24.99 it actually does BL Heli pass through via USB and it has an F3 and it also comes with a black box. Uh, that's, you know, $12 less than this thing. So it's a great flight, uh, flight controller. And if you really need the space, this is your ticket. Hopefully they'll fix the BL Heli thing. I keep coming back to that because I think it's kind of, um, it's a bummer. You know, when we have everything soldered in here, it really sucks to have to solder on an adapter or you know hold some pins on there or something you know we've just gotten kind of spoiled in the last couple months to just be able to pass through anyways um, thanks for watching and if you've got any questions let me know in the comments thanks a lot